Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about conditional logics. How we can able to use this conditional logics into our karate framework. See, this is a simple example uh, we can able to say like uh, there is a dependency kind of thing. Now you use one feature file. That feature file depends on another feature file. If you want to run after this feature file, in case if this feature file is running uh, correct status code, then we need to run for another feature file, which is dependency is presented. Okay. In case if that feature file is failed, then second feature file should be should not be run. Okay. It should be escape. Okay. This is a simple conditional logic we are going to apply. And there are multiple ways we can able to use. One is question mark. What are the future files? If you want to call a multiple future files, in case if that future file should not be called it. And if it, that particular future file is failed, then we can able to call it like this. Single quotation and question mark, single quotation, colon, and another future file. And again colon and then future file. Like that, we can able to call for n number of future files. Okay, this is a one format. Second format is question mark, curly brace and colon and we can able to call for that particular feature file. Or else we can able to use if statement and there we can able to call it here. These are the multiple ways we can able to call it for conditional logics. Okay, and here I am going to explain it for one single format of thing. Okay, and here I called for gate method and pagination and I provided for the same name and things and I just I used here. Okay, and after that I used for some header values and providing that and verifying the status. Once it is verifying the status, I used for if condition. If response status equal equal 200, then call this method and verify in case if this method is not 200 the response rate is not 200 it is something different then it should not be run this line okay and now in our case it should be a 200 it will pass out then we are going to checking for this value more probably this particular feature file may be to fail because of i use some dummy value verification get our user details and here I am going to comment in I will comment because while explaining I used some data 200 only I am verifying now ok my conditional loop and just I am going to run this my future file and this conditional uh, loops basically what will happen if that particular scenario is 200 then only our call will be happen now both the scenarios now you can able to maximize now see it will provide for calling for two future files and go to down now again another link okay there also it will verify and 200 status then pagination and it will search for the value and then again another calling for another feature file which is we provided for 201 right there also it will search and it is working okay. now you can able to see down there is another 200 status see again 200 status this is the way we can able to call it for our conditional logics and that's a particular scenario it is passed then only we can able to go ahead for another session otherwise but we can able to see the pass count is only one because one feature file only we are calling for multiple values for that it is doing that one single feature only but when you call this method what will happen in case if that particular thing is passed then only it will work out otherwise it will fail it immediately like that that is 
in case if you want multiple values multiple future files having the dependency then you have to use question mark and the single quotation the future file name this is a format you can able to call it using for karate.call you can use for this format then that particular feature file it will call and it will uh, in case if that status is not equal or some the data is not equal then it will fail it not only status you can able to use for file name or name of the user or email id of the user like that you can able to use any condition place and you can able to utilize for this particular features okay this is a simple example for conditional logics i hope you enjoyed this one if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you